Hey there, it's Rachel from the Hot Chocolate Styled Stock Library. I recently had a request from a member to create a tutorial video on how to add your prints or artwork to our frame mockups. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today using Photoshop. So I'll just go and grab a couple of frame mockups from our collection. And then I'll open up Photoshop. So I already have my artwork here. This is an eight by 10 inch print. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up those files that I just downloaded. All right, so let's start with this one first. Go over to your artwork tab, and then you can just click and drag it out. Make sure that your design is flattened. And if you haven't done that already, you can hit Command Shift E to merge your layers. And then you can click and drag this layer into the mock-up photo. Now, if it's larger than what you want, all you have to do is resize. So hold down Shift on your keyboard and then come over to one of these little um, corners and click on the bounding box and then drag it in order to resize it. All right, I'm just going to zoom in so I can make sure that I'm getting it the right size here. Okay, perfect. That is looking pretty good. So as you'll see, this looks like I've placed this design on top of a mock-up. It's not looking great. So how can you make it look more realistic? With this layer selected, come over to your adjustments and click on this drop-down menu here and then hit multiply. What that's gonna do is Photoshop is actually gonna blend this in so that it looks like it's actually a photo of your print inside. You'll see that now you can see the shadow and it's looking much more realistic. So again, here it is without that blending option. So that's normal. You can totally tell that I just dropped that in there. But when I hit multiply, that one little trick makes it look so much more realistic. And it's super easy. It only took me a couple of seconds to do that. So you'll notice some of our frames have this matted feature. So this is great if you have smaller prints that you want to fit in there. Let's say I have that same 8 by 10 inch print and I wanted to use this photo because I really like how it looks. So go ahead and just grab that print again. If you don't see it, go to Window Arrange Consolidate all to tabs, it'll pop back up over here. You can click and drag it in. And again, you're just gonna have to resize it a little bit. Make sure that you do hold down shift so that your um, proportions are constrained. All right, stick it in there as best you can and as close to the size of the frame as you can. And then again, you're going to hit multiply. Now, this time, because we have this matting going on here, you can definitely see it and you don't want that. So what you can do, go ahead and just hide this layer for a second. Grab your eyedropper tool and then select a color that is close to this area, just right above though. Okay, and then hit B for brush. And then just brush out this area here. And fill it in. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and view our layer. And now it looks great. So that's a little trick. Of course, if you wanted to have a smaller print in there and you wanted to use the matted photo frame, then that's great. You would just readjust the size. But let's say you want to use a photo that has that feature, but you have the larger 8x10 print, then it's no problem to just use your brush, get rid of it, and easily add in your print, and then go to the adjustments and put the multiply blending option on and Photoshop will do the hard work for you and make it look like it actually belongs in there. So hopefully you found this helpful. It really is not difficult to add your prints to the frame mockups and make them look really good.